Hello and welcome by Alessandro Zamboni in this video where I will guide you to comprehend what buyer intent keywords are and how to use them in your online projects. So imagine to write an article, to record a video, uh, to do anything online where you want to get a sale. Using buyer intent keywords is something very useful to close uh, as many sales as you can. There are four methods to close buyer intent keyword sales. The first and the most easiest, but a lot of people don't, don't think about it, is to use the term buy followed by a keyword. So this is the first method. We can put a one right here. Okay. And simply you write, for example, buy coffee machine or uh, buy coffee maker buy sport bicycle sorry probably this way okay buy sport bicycle or buy in this case a model of anything could be a clock a watch could be a computer, so Apple MacBook, for example, could be a particular coffee, buy Starbucks coffee, uh, buy Razor mouse. So you see that people continuously search for what they want to buy. When they write this keyword, the user making the search is already uh, ready to buy because uh, it means uh, he already did the research about the product he wants to buy. So it's in the buying intent. And using this keyword plus product name, product name, helps you to get visitors straight to your article. It could be a review, it could be a compare, it could be anything. But if you talk about the product, the buy plus product name is useful, especially if you have an affiliate link uh, or if you are selling the product for yourself in any in anything, not only online marketing, but anything. Sure, if I enter buy product name intended as the name of the product released on Warrior Plus, on JVZoo, or whatever, you get that customers and you can sell the affiliate product. But more than buy for online marketing, they use bonus and bonuses. Those are two keywords that when searched together with product name mean the customer is looking to purchase the product with a particular bonus. So you can prepare a page with all your bonuses listed to close the sale with this buyer intent keyword. The number two is uh, best or compare something. If they enter best coffee maker, best email marketing program, best affiliate network, best MLM network, best ebook on Kindle, uh, best adventures outside, everything they write with best before mean they are looking for the best on market, okay? So if you enter best plus product name, like in this case, so we can make an arrow and point that, oops, here, best product name, even in general terms, this works great. So this is in the middle phase when the customers has an idea about what to purchase, but has not got uh, a specific product to look for. And so for the best and compare, so you can compare coffee makers, for example, you can compare sunglasses, you can compare uh, cyclettes, you can compare fitness equipments and decide which one is the best. So providing those two types of articles helps the customer decide which products to purchase and will close more affiliate sales for you. For example, on Water Plus there has been a lot of email autoresponders released in the last year you take the best three or the best five and you make reviews selecting the best one and comparing them all. Okay, hope to have made this clear. You need something as a first product 
winning in your reviews and the other going in second place, third place and so on. That's how you provide the best products and you compare them all. The third keyword to use is about a specific research by user. You can spot those keywords easily using SEMrush.com. SEMrush.com is a costly keyword search, probably the best one, good for SEO, good for a lot of features and you can use that for search. Otherwise, to find good questions, you can use AnswerThePublic.com. Answer the Public has been recently bought by great marketer, great person, great business person. And here you can enter, for example, imagine you are writing this about iPhone. You enter iPhone 13, the new one. Oops, sorry, I searched in UK. Yeah. United States or your country. iPhone 13, let's search. It's here. With the pro function you can compare data and do a lot of interesting questions, but as you can see it's generating, it's searching those questions through the web. So in a minute or even less you will get all the results. You see there are 75 questions, you can click here on questions. Here is the visualization, you can even see data this way. And you can use all these questions to create articles or better you create a, a unique article about iPhone 13 and you enter those questions inside the content. So how iPhone 13 look like, uh, how iPhone 13 uh, charge, works, stand, when iPhone 13 Pro Max, uh, what iPhone to buy, you can provide your point of view and more, okay? This is based on the classic what, when, where, are, can, how, so typical uh, questions people ask. Down there you get prepositions, so how to remove this, here. You can find other interesting keywords here to generate questions. When iPhone 13 will be available in stores. How is iPhone 13 charging port? Which is iPhone 13 expected price? You can give an answer to those questions and put obviously a link, for example, to Amazon affiliate uh, or anything in and in between. So answerthepublic.com will help you uncover those questions if you can't use SEMrush. And that's very good. So what you can write is, uh, for example, uh, let me think about the product. Uh, yes. Is Citizen Pro Master model good for, let's say, adventure? You answer this question saying if it is or if it is not good for adventure, if there are better models than this one, and so on. So here the customer is again in research mode, so it's not like entering the buy keyword. That's the last step of the process. The best thing is you can use many of those things together. You can have an article answering questions, but that has inside a lot of buy product name and also best product name and compare products. So the fourth one is again in the first stage. That is uh, again customer research is free plus product. This is especially good for online, could be free autoresponder, could be free uh, hosting, could be uh, free uh, doc document editor, free file and compressor, so anything free where you can give also paid suggestion to the user. Uh, for example, you can tell which is the best free products, but gives also more paid products telling why they are better than a free product, okay? 
so here is just uh, creating uh, an article about an article a video whatever about a free product but giving chances to discover more because sometimes users come to your website in search of something free but they can pay so this is another interesting buyer intent keyword using these four all together or one by one can provide you with a lot of traffic of people that really want to buy something and whenever they are ready to buy or they are in the process it's huge what you can achieve in terms of sales over the years I've built many affiliate stores in terms of blogs with product reviews with product compares and so on and I closed many sales for the Amazon affiliate network for Clickbank for Warrior Plus just using those four keywords Hope to have been clear about those. Uh, if you have any question, post it below the video. I will take the time to answer. Thanks so much and see you soon by Alessandro Zamboni. Bye bye.